Hey there, friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Esk, and I've got a very important question for you. How's your heart? How's your heart doing? How are you feeling? What is your heart saying to you? I remember when I first heard that question was through listening to one of Kyle Cease's events that he had posted on his uh, Absolutely Everything Pass. And he was talking to the audience and he was asking, you know, what does your heart feel? What is your heart saying? And this was probably about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. And I remembered putting my hand on my chest because, you know, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. And when you touch your heart, you're kind of focused in on that area, though I have split focus sometimes where I'm focused on so many different places at once. And, you know, I was listening to what the audience members were saying, and some people were saying that they were happy, that they were elated and joyful. Some were sad. And I like had to kind of keep moving around on my body because I was like, I don't I don't particularly feel anything like I, I don't feel anything. So I stopped and I I took a couple of deep breaths. And if anything, I just had so many thoughts just kind of going through. And then I was like, I, I feel very frustrated. And then I kind of gave up on it. <laughs> so a couple more times throughout, you know, last year, I would hear that question through, you know, an event that he was doing or a talk he was giving. And I became really good friends with this incredible woman named Jo Brooke, who's from Australia. And anytime I would see her or we would talk, she would always ask me, how's your heart, honey? And it's such a great question. And it's taken me it's taken me a while, but I think I'm finally able to hear what my heart is saying. And I have to tell you that that is one of the most important questions that you can ever ask yourself. How's my heart? How is it? Anytime I start to get upset, emotional, frustrated, or even happy, I'll put my hand on my heart and I'll focus on it. And I'll just kind of take a couple of deep breaths and soften into that moment. Take a second, friend, and just do that. Just take take any hand. I'm left-handed, so I naturally go for, for this one. And just place it on your chest and just take a deep breath in. And then just let it out. And then just feel. You can feel your heart beating. You can see what pops up in your mind. And whatever it is, it's perfect. You know, whenever I would feel frustrated while doing this exercise, it was because I was feeling frustrated. My heart was frustrated. That's kind of like one of the layers that was that was up there. And it's telling me, hey, you're frustrated. Hey, you're angry. Hey, you're upset. You feel guilt. You feel shame. And as I kind of learned how to do this self-work and I learned to work with those patterns and those feelings that would come up, I learned to not shame it, to allow it to be there and to love everything that came up. And then over time, I got to experience it dissolving away so now when I have those feelings that pop up and I'm like you know how am I feeling even though there's stuff that's stressful around me I the thing that pops into my head is I am here and I am present and that's that's it there's no fixes there's no I need to just get past this this day this event this stressful thing and then I will feel okay I just feel my heart and I'm like, I'm just, I'm here. And I feel my heart beating and I'm just here and I'm present with it. And the more I keep doing that and the more that I keep feeling that, the better I'm feeling and the more free I am feeling. I honestly think one of the, the biggest things for me is being able to find peace in any situation that's happening. And to be able to feel free, free to think for myself, free to be able to make choices and knowing that I move from the intention of just, you know, being a being of service and of love and being here, getting to know who I am. And as I'm doing that, I am helping other people uncover parts of themselves, too. And it's been a really cool process to watch and explore. You know, you guys reflect all the time in the comments, stuff that I say. And it's really funny. Everyone keeps telling me that I'm glowing. I literally had like five people yesterday. The doctor, when I went to the doctors, she was just like, you, you literally are glowing. And then I had a comment, I had a couple of comments um, on my video yesterday say the same thing. They're like, you're glowing. 
which I think is so cool because I'm literally the only thing I'm doing differently is I'm just showing up more and more for myself. I am not giving my power away to outside things. I'm thinking for myself. I'm doing experiments where, you know, this didn't feel quite right in my body. What can I say to, you know, either change it within me? Is there a different way I can look at this? Is there something that I can say to change the situation? Can I just listen and just just being present with my heart? And anytime I start to feel a particular type of way, I just put my hand on my chest. And it's just kind of been like a trigger thing now where it's like when I'm walking around and I'm frustrated, hand on my heart. <laughs> I met a woman yesterday at the chiropractor's office. And as I was talking to her and sharing, you know, we, we both uh, expressed that we went through trauma um, in our life and she put her hand on her chest. That's kind of like the universal symbol of just like just I'm here with you. I'm present. So when you're alone and you do that and you put your hand on your, your chest, on your heart, it's kind of like you're saying the same thing to you. Like, I'm here. I'm present. I'm present with myself. I'm present with me. And like even just talking about that, like it just it it feels so like warm and expansive in my body because being able to be with yourself means that you you can show up and be there with other people, too. The more that you you're able to to, you know, see the patterns. Be able to connect with you. The more you're able to show up as a different version of yourself one who makes better choices, one who can become more valuable. Like I've been, I don't even know how to explain how my life has been for the past two years. I've been increasing my value by sitting with myself and I've been gaining so much knowledge and understanding of me and releasing so much of me. And I've had really awesome teachers and tools come my way without me having to do too much. Anytime I tried to force something to happen, it completely fell apart or it didn't feel good. And we're kind of coming into a time now where when we're trying to force things to happen, it's just not working. You're seeing how different, you know, businesses and structures and corporations are starting to fall apart because they weren't quite based on, you know, integrity. They only had one thing in mind, which was a profit. And we're kind of watching as things that aren't of a higher vibration are starting to kind of collapse. And it's very interesting to just observe. So as a reflection with us, the same thing is happening to us in our lives. If things don't, you know, as Kyle Cease says, if things don't quite feel like tens, you know, those things kind of start to fall away. And more things that you resonate with and that, you know, vibrate at your level will start to come in to you. And I'm watching that happen more and more. And some really fun synchronicities. I had two really cool synchronicities uh, pop up today. One of them was I was listening to Bruce Lipton's talk on Gaia Plus this morning. And he was talking about the butterfly goo thing like I was talking about yesterday, which I thought was really funny. I swear I didn't listen to that talk. I wasn't going to. But then this morning I was like, ah, there's one day left in this event. Let me give it a shot. And he said the same thing. He was like, chaos is when the butterfly goes into to the chrysalis. I misspoke and I called it a cocoon yesterday when it goes into the chrysalis and then it pops up as a, but a butterfly. There has to be some kind of order that that occurs there is chaos first and then in that chaos becomes order tracy who is awesome and left a really cool comment said that she has a business that that cleans if i'm not mistaken um i could have misread that and i apologize if i if i did um but she sees you know that there's chaos because there's a mess that's got to get cleaned up and then she goes through and she cleans it and creates order and that's kind of the same thing that's happening to us in our lives like we've got you know, all of these particles and, and proteins and cells. And we are just we are a gigantic like rod of energy and us breathing in this air like God is the air. This is the God particle. It's it's in the air. I swear I'm learning so much and I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the breath. You know, being spiritual means one who breathes. Spirit is breath, the breath of life. Like you can only you can go a couple of weeks without food. You go a couple of days without water, but you literally can only go like minutes without air. Air is important. So breathing is important. And when you're in a stressful situation, taking a deep breath in and relaxing is crucial. So as we're kind of going through life and we're living it and we're taking these deep breaths and we're breathing, we're taking these particles and we're creating because we are creators. And it's incredible when we kind of realize that and realize how powerful we are and how we don't have to give our power away to other things and instead come back here put your hand on your heart and ask how 
are you doing? How are you feeling today? So give that a shot. That one exercise has been very powerful for me, like the past month. Anytime I'm like, oof, I'm like contracting, hand on my heart, breathe. <laughs> it's been really awesome. And the last synchronicity also has to do with the Gaia Event Plus thing. Um, super, super fast. I was editing a uh, an interview episode for um, the Positive Head podcast. And he was, Brandon was talking to um, this guy whose name is Sa Di Simone. And it was a really good talk. And I was like, wow, this guy's really good. And the the guest mentioned that he was on Gaia. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow, that's so cool. So I typed his name into Gaia. And they're just like, oh, look at um, Sa's talk on Gaia Event Plus. And I was just like, wait a second. His was the only talk that I didn't listen to because it had the word dance in it. And I was like, I'm not a dancer. And sure enough, he was he was on the event and I saw his name, but it just didn't click in my brain, which I thought was a really funny synchronicity. <laughs> so, hey, it shows up in ways that you least expect it. Right. That's it's been a lot of that lately. So, friend, take a deep breath and put your hand on your heart and ask it how it's doing. And even if you don't get any answers, know that it's just so happy that you're giving it attention. And just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. And then eventually you'll start to hear an answer. Eventually your mind will start to get quiet enough that it will, it's whispers. It's gentle, gentle whispers. It's kind of like a butterfly whisper, if you know what I mean. (laughs) Will start to come out and you will, you'll be able to hear it and you'll be able to connect with it. And it's just really awesome and it feels really good. And you'll watch peace and freedom. It's right there. It's right there within you. So friend, thank you so much for watching this video of mine. Remember to love yourself unconditionally, no matter what, no matter what, you are so worthy and deserving of your love. And just promise me, you'll keep singing. Okay, friend?